one admission process, what has changed for foreign nationals? Uh, I've been getting quite a few questions, so I thought I'd make a short video to cover some of the changes in place. Okay, so the biggest change is that now there will be one test for everyone. Um, so the MDCAT entry test, NMDCAT, MCAT, they're all the same thing. It's just different names used. Um, officially, it's called the NMDCAT, which I believe stands for the Nas National Medical Dental Council Admissions Test. I don't know. Um, then the other thing that's important to know is that it will be completely computerized, which is a first for Pakistan. What does this mean for foreign nationals? That just means you won't be doing the SATs anymore. No more SAT subject tests. If you book them, please cancel them. Um, unless you're going to AKU, which it's, it's a bit different. Um, so you would have to look into that in more detail. Uh, however, we have to remember that the last date to apply for the MDCAT or register for it is July 15th, 2021. Now, for locals, this is a fee of 6,000 rupees. However, for foreign nationals, I believe it's $110. So, what you can do right now, honestly, is to just register for the test. Um, that's your best bet. Start studying, and then you just hope for the best, honestly. Nothing is really clear cut right now how the admission process will truly go. There aren't quite, there aren't a lot of details on this, so I would suggest waiting patiently until August. That's when most admission criteria is released, and that's when PTAP usually releases its poster as well. So the test will most likely be conducted in embassies, and uh, that's kind of my assumption uh, because. There's, I, I don't, I can't think of any other place that it would be conducted in. But you have to remember that if the embassy is uh, not near your city, then you might want to consider a possible flight to the nearest Pakistani embassy in your country. Now, uh, I've been getting a lot of questions about whether or not PTAP will stay. Uh, I can't say much on it or I can't give a guarantee, honestly. Um, but my assumption is most likely. Uh, I did have someone who who called a PTAP uh, the other day and uh, they said to focus on your exam right now. Um, PTAP is kind of going to release the information later on. So that would be my best advice is to focus on registering for the exam and studying for that. Uh, PTAP usually releases its information in August. The only difference now is going to be, instead of SAT scores, they'll look at your MDCAT. Uh, last year, the closing merit was 75.5%. It was a bit confusing um, because they had new merit lists, merit lists that said unutilized uh, admission seats, which was kind of weird. They had a main list and then they had a bunch of uh, lists that said unutilized. And they were the smaller colleges. Um, some I've never even heard of their name. Um, they were very, very small medical colleges, you know, within the country and in, in, in smaller areas. Uh, however, I did see it as a positive thing because it opens you up to more seats. Um, however, that being said, the main list closed off on a very high merit. I think it was around 85, 86%. However, this was for the unutilized admission seats, which I don't know what that means, but they had that and they had more people get into med school last year. Uh, so this is an interesting question because it's it's one of those questions where you, you're asking, oh, but I get a 10% deduction on IBCC, so I'm technically, you know, having 10% off my marks or whatnot. It's not like that, guys. This is similar with this. It, it is harder um, to do a test with a country syllabus that you've never really been exposed to, but that's okay because you're competing with foreign nationals. So they're probably on the same boat as you are. Um, however, what differentiates you or another person or a strong candidate um, from weak candidate is really that they focus on their exams and try to get a good grade regardless of their circumstances. So I would make that my your I would make that my focus is to study as well as I can for the exam and uh, leave these uncontrollable things uncontrollable because th these are not things that we have control over. 
what another person does, um, it's probably not under your control. And the same thing with IBCC, yes, you get a 10% deduction, but everyone gets a 10% deduction. You're competing against everyone who experiences that. So it doesn't technically affect your mark, but it technically affects your mark. So it's a bit weird. Now, with the MDCAT, um, it, there's, I just want to let you know a little bit about this test, what it's really like. It's mainly a memory-based exam, so very little application, very little. Uh, most of it is just you memorize facts, and uh, that's honestly it. There's 210 multiple choice questions. You get 3.5 hours. There is no more negative marking, which is woohoo. That's great. That's actually pretty awesome. They used to have negative marking. Now you don't have negative marking, which is great. Um, but now you have more questions. So 68 questions on biology, 56 for chemistry, 56 for physics, and 20 for English, and 10 logical reasoning, which is like IQ-based questions. A bit weird, but nonetheless, this is a new section they added. You need to have at least 65% to be eligible to apply to medical schools. So the passing mark. You definitely need to surpass that. Now, um, like I said, this is a memory-based exam. So the way you study for it is not going to be too different from the SATs, but uh, I think it's it's definitely going to be a curve, a learning curve, uh, because the content is different. Uh, and you want to be looking at the syllabus in detail for that. The test happens around the September, October timeline in, in 2020 was pretty wonky. It was all over the place. So uh, I hope that the timeline will flow well this year. Uh, now, resources you could use. Um, honestly, the first thing I would uh, the first piece of advice I would give is to do your research. Uh, there's a lot of online institutes. If you're already present in Pakistan or plan on going to do this in test in Pakistan, then there's on site institutes as well that help prepare for this. There's also the books that you need. Um, I'll be honest, I don't know a lot about the books that you need for this exam and what works best, but I do, I will try to update more information on this uh, because I personally feel uh, I should equip you guys with some, you know, helpful information to guide you through this. Uh, you can also follow Random and More. Uh, they usually give quick updates about changes to the MDCAT um, and also in regards to foreign nationals so it's really helpful for nice timely updates uh last uh, lastly i would also tell you to consider looking into medangle pre-med which is an online platform with multiple choice questions you buy their membership and they give you multiple choice questions um related to pre-med which is your test preparation and uh, I think this is good because it's online uh, and it gives you pretty great analytics on how you're doing and performing. And then lastly, there's definitely different organizations that hold workshops for counseling, MDCAT counseling. One specifically at Dow is Hamara Mustaqbil and they do hold MDCAT counseling workshops. So maybe follow them and uh, stay tuned for more information on workshops. Uh, however, like I said, again, you're going to have to do a bit of research. And I have put in a couple of links um, in the description of this video to look into. So the registration link, um, the official PMC website, which will give you more information on the exam and policies for foreign nationals and the test syllabus. So please go through this test syllabus. Um, this will give you a really good idea of what you're going to see on the exam. Now, once again, I would advise you not to focus too much on the process right now focus on the exam and study for it and use the right materials for that uh, the way the process works is not in your control so if anything any major changes happens which often do happen have been happening in the past two years so you're gonna have to kind of adapt to that so focus on the exam forget the process for a moment and uh, try to try to do great on that because that will definitely um, help you with your application. Um, that does mean that maybe PTAP averages this year will be lower because obviously the MDCAT is not the same thing as the SATs. Um, however, that being said, doesn't mean it won't be any less competitive. I would say it would actually be more competitive um, because more and more people are now 
wanting to do medical school in Pakistan, which is interesting. So that's it from my end. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys next time. Um, do follow me on Instagram, med.tasticdays. Uh, look at my blog page for any updates on there and uh, email or DM me anytime for any questions you have. I'm more than happy to answer them. And have a wonderful day. Thank you.